Is it weird that I am logging for Christmas when I put this shirt on? <laughs> Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk about the fragrances that I wore for the week and two that I received just recently. I really, really pumped to share these with you and it was really an amazing week in fragrance. So before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button join the weird and wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And without further ado, let's get into this. Why am I feeling like I'm looking green? <laughs> if I do, just go with it. <laughs> First, I want to share with you kind of a new fragrance obsession. It's not new to my collection, but I'm recently obsessed with it. And that is La Nuit Tresor Alifoli. It's so nuts because um, Hesse gave this to me for my birthday and for whatever reason, I just found it too powdery and now it's just the right amount of powdery with the white, right amount of fruitiness and I am in love with it. It has an absolute ton of notes. Like it's got close to the same amount of notes as the original La Nuit Tresor. That said, there's pear bergamot and pink pepper and red currant in this, I get kind of a fruity red berry feel to this. Uh, not strawberry, but just the current, I guess, is what I would be picking up. Um, I don't really notice any rose in here. Um, I just get vanilla and tonka uh, and powderiness. Somehow, I just find it so sensual and kind of calming and cozy. Love this fragrance. It's really quite sexy and sensual too. Um, I would say it sits closer to the skin, but I'm not positive because I haven't worn this one out a lot. Uh, but I've been putting this one on personally. I just love La Nuit Tresor, love the Aloe Foley, love the nude. Like I just love the line. Uh, but this was my least favorite. And lately I've been really, really enjoying it. It feels cozy. So where La Nuit Tresor feels a little bit more sexy, to me, Alifoli feels a little bit cozy. A lot of you are diehard Alifoli fans. So if you love it, say why you love it in the comments. If you don't love it and you love La Nuit Tresor better, say why you prefer that one. Uh, right now, I think Nude is my favorite, then La Nuit Tresor, and then A La Folie, but they're all amazing. The next OG that I've literally not worn, because I used to talk about it all the time, and I literally pet it every time I have it in my hand, La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. What can I say that, like, what can I say that I haven't said before? This is an amazing, amazing fragrance. It makes me feel happy. It makes me feel pretty. It makes me feel a little bit sexy. I love this fragrance. It's beautiful. It's feminine. It's uh, intoxicating. I intoxicate myself when I wear this thing. Like, it's it's pear, it's vanilla, it's vetiver. There's some spiciness in there. It smells like a kind of a liquored up pear in spices. So delicious, so amazing. And pear sometimes smells kind of green or fresh. This smells like a cooked pear to me or a braised pear, a poached pear, but it's definitely delicious. It smells sexy, flirty, happy, pretty, and it always makes me feel all of those things. So this is a forever keeper. Plus I just love the bottle. And I know I keep mentioning it, but that little bum is actually really cute. Like I love the shape of it. It's just femininity from the bottle to the juice amazing this. So I've got a couple fragrances from Dossier. Now the way things work is sometimes I receive PR, sometimes I receive fragrances where they specifically want me to talk about their fragrances. So that's the case here with Dossier. But as per usual, I let them know that I have to be honest. So uh, I wanted to try these two fragrances. Now what I like about Dossier is uh, they put the notes on a card for you. Uh, they tell you who it's inspired by, the concentration of perfume oils, uh, and also how you can return it if you're not crazy about the fragrance. So love that. I love their website, like exploring their website. They've got a quiz on there that you can do. Uh, there's lots of different avenues that you can go to kind of explore their fragrances, uh, but they are definitely a dupe house. So they've got primarily fragrances that are uh, dupes of higher end uh, perfume from the designer and niche world. So the first one I have, I was really excited. I've never smelled Ex Nilo's Fleur Narcotique, but I've heard a ton 
about it. Like everybody raves about it and I've never even smelt a sample. So I wanted to, I was just intrigued. I wanted to try Dossier's version, which was Woody Peony. So this has notes of peach, lychee, bergamot, and freesia on the top. The middle notes are jasmine, orange blossom, peony, and white flowers, and the base is musk, oak moss, and woods. This one, I can't speak to um, how close it is to the actual uh, Fleur Narcotique, uh, but it's a very beautiful fragrance. So it's kind of mouth-watering. I definitely get a lot of that bergamot and the peach. So the peach is very bright. It's a little bit tart in the opening, and then kind of the florals start coming out. I would say that I get mainly kind of peony slash orange blossom. It's a very delicate kind of feminine floral. I didn't notice any of the woods, but I did notice the musk. So this to me is a fruity, musky floral. I really enjoyed this one. The only thing that I would say is I've noticed now with a few of these where they have orange blossom in them. Uh, and again, it's my taste, but all of these have kind of a, a similar DNA and it kind of affects me in the head. So I've struggled a little bit with the fruity floral. I have, I got the Jimmy Choo, I Want Choo and the Voce Viva inspired versions. Um, and they all kind of did the same thing. This one is the least that I've tried so far, but it kind of, kind of gives me a little bit of a whoop like that in the nose. So this one I really enjoyed wearing. It has great projection. Um, I got a compliment on it. So it's a very nice fragrance. And I wasn't even really smelling it and someone commented on my fragrance. So it definitely has decent longevity, like at least five, six hours of actually really decent projection. So I was impressed with the longevity of this one. I enjoyed the fragrance, but I think it would be better in the spring or summer but there is something in it. I have to try them a little bit more. There's something in it. And I noticed this about some fragrances where I put it on and it just sits wrong in my nose. So this one was a little bit like that. The other two were more like that. So it could be just the scent profile, uh, but that was the one negative. But as far as it being a really pretty scent, it is very nice. Like I said, I get the peach and the bergamot more than anything. I get a little bit of that peony in the orange blossom and then some musk. Uh, very feminine, bright, cheery kind of uh, everyday fragrance. I think that this is awesome. Now I want to smell the actual Fleur Nar Narcotique because this was uh, pretty enough that I'm like, okay, I really want to try the original now. So that's another thing that's great about the Dossier fragrances is if you kind of want to see what a scent profile is like, there's a little bit of certainty here that this is going to be at least similar. So if you like this, you'll likely like the original, even if they're not exactly the same. So anyway, really glad I got to try this one. Now, what literally blew my stalks off, like seriously, I'm in love with this fragrance. It's part of Dossier's original line, so it comes in a different colored box, and it's part of the Speak Easy collection. So this one is called Golden Rum and Amber, and I love this. Like, I so seriously am in love with this fragrance. Like, I... It's, it's one of my more like love at first sniff fragrances of, of the, the year. Like, <laughs> like I seriously love this. So I'm gonna read the, the notes. And again, this is an original. So it has bitter almond, plum, and cade wood in the top. The middle is rum, clove, cedar wood. Yes, please. I love that. Uh, and the base has ambrox and vanilla, tolu balsam, and candied fruits. Seriously? This is freaking delicious. And the fragrance, as soon as I smelt it, what it reminded me of was Plum and Cognac by Sense of Wood. It has the plum. It's got that smoky, woody feel. Uh, it's got the booziness. I wouldn't say that this is a dupe of that or anything like that. This is its own thing, but it has that same feel. And I actually tried the two fragrances together and they definitely give me that same vibe, the same feel. So even though they're not alike, they've got that plum that rum or like that plum, that booze and that woody, smoky woodiness. So sexy. Now, um, I had Val try this and she thought that the cedar really came out on her skin, which it, the cedar is definitely present. Um, so she wasn't as crazy about it, but she likes really quite feminine fragrances. This is definitely unisex. It would smell so freaking sexy on a guy. 
but I think it smells so freaking sexy on me. Like this is the highlight. Like I am so glad that I got to try this because it's just awesome. So really, really love golden rum and amber. And as per usual, all the fragrances will be linked down below. So the next fragrance I tried was from Experimental Perfume Club. And this one was called Amber Epices. Epices? Uh, so spicy amber is essentially what you're getting. Now this is part of their essential line, which is uh, a, a blend of two of their signature fragrances. This is a blend of bergamot incense and amber iris. It's very warm. It's inviting. I get a little bit of that incense. Uh, definitely some woodiness. There's a bit of spice in it, but it doesn't feel heavily spiced. It's just kind of warm and cozy. This is definitely unisex. This one feels really uber cozy uh, and you're definitely getting that amber in there. So I really enjoyed wearing this one. I feel like uh, there's a little bit of powdery in, powderiness, like maybe like some irisy feel in there. It's very nice, very calming, relaxing, cozy fragrance but i actually preferred the second one that i tried from them and it's called sable gris i'm in love with this so this is a blend of their cardamom moss and their sandalwood and musk i definitely get the cardamom in here it feels woody soft slightly sweet the cardamom everything in this is smooth uh but this is uber uber cozy it's got just the right amount of sweetness to spice ratio um i love that just uh kind of almost like a little bit of a smokiness in this one this is so so sensual intoxicating addictive like i i want to basically bathe in this one so really 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 enjoy this fragrance it's so beautiful i just imagine uh you know it's it's lightly snowing outside you're just in the mood to be cozy you put on this white cable knit uh sweater and you've got sweats and slippers on and then you go sit uh, by the fire and you're listening to the fire crackle, drinking a, a cup of spiced chai. That's, that's the vibe that this gives me, like just cozy and sensual, but still kind of sexy. Drinking a cup of spiced chai and then your significant other comes in and they decide to sit right beside you and then they start snuggling and one thing leads to another. And what can I say? This is an awesome fragrance. <laughs> I love it. Like it's beautiful. It's the right amount of spice to sweetness to sandalwood. Um, so, so beautiful. Like very, very nice. It's alluring. It's addictive. This is a beautiful unisex fragrance. Um, this is one I definitely want because I just think, I don't know, there's something about it. It just has a whole vibe to it. Like very, very sexy, not too sweet. If you like sandalwood, Santel 33, is that what it is from Olavo 33? Santel, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Um, this isn't that, I just think this is quite better. Like, I love it. I love that smooth sandalwood, kind of almost silky sandalwood mixed with the spice. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. The other thing that's cool about Experimental Perfume Club is they've, I think they've got courses. You can get a bespoke fragrance from them, I believe. Um, there's lots of really neat things to explore on their website. I keep on saying that about websites, but I've been really enjoying exploring it. I think part of it, I don't know why, but this is making me teary. I really love that in the fragrance world, there are so many different takes on fragrance and how to do fragrance. So like Room 105, they've got their kind of jazzy vibe with their music and kind of a little bit avant-garde feel. Experimental Perfume Club wanting to open up the all factory mystery and allow you to really explore and create. That's their passion. Love it. So all these different companies, all these different niche and independent companies that are bringing their passion to you uh, in a way, in their own artful way, love it. So I want to encourage you, don't just go look on Fragrantica. 
uh, when you're looking at fragrances, go to the actual websites and explore what they're about because that when when you resonate with a brand, then the, like it, there's another element or layer to the enjoyment of that fragrance. So uh, I found I've been really loving doing that and I really appreciate Experimental Perfumes Clubs, uh, just their whole take on fragrances. I really highly recommend going and checking it out. Everything will be linked down below, but seriously, uh, I just think it's just so cool. And why is it making me all emotional? But it is, I just, I just really appreciate people's expression of art through whatever uh, means it comes. And so for fragrance or perfumery, when a brand takes it and makes it into something uh, that's uniquely their own and their own spin on the art form, uh, I just find that the experience uh, in wearing their fragrances and understanding what they're about, it just heightens the experience personally for me. So anyway, that is it. It was an awesome week in fragrance. Definitely the highlights were this Sable Gris, which is phenomenal, and Golden Run, Rum and Amber by Dossier. Like this one, it's so, <laughs> it's just, this is mouthwatering, boozy goodness. This is sensual, spicy sandalwood, both uber sexy and I am so in love with both of these. So the other ones were amazing. These were these were on a whole other level. <laughs> and that is it. What were your highlights for the week? Please leave it in the comments. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week. We'll talk to you soon.